Now that we talked about the jihad princesses in the last video, we need to talk about their weapons, the most famous weapons in the tower. Actually, their symbolic significance is greater than any other weapon in the tower. They were created by a pledge and known as the 13 month series. First, before we go any further, spoiler warning for anyone who did not at least finish the last station arc aka the season 2 finale. The 13 month series consists of one inventory and 12 sentient ignition weapon made by the craft master Ashul Eduardo. It was said that he made them from a material provided by the king himself and they vary in shape and function. For instance, one is a needle and another is a hook and there is even a sword. The 30 month series are weapons that have special meanings but not the most powerful weapon in the tower. There are so many stronger weapons in the tower. They also vary in ranks. Most of them are either A or B rank. The Golden November is the only S rank among the 13 month series. The 12 ignition weapons when ignited by the user release a vast amount of power. No matter how skilled the wielder is, they cannot force a 13 month series weapon to ignite. Depending on the weapon personality, it may refuse to listen to its owner. It was said that only a chosen princess is supposed to be able to ignite a 13 month series. But as we discovered, both Anak Jahad and 25th Bam proven this to be untrue since they were both able to ignite each of Black Mars and Green April. When a weapon of the 13 month series meet they will resonate and their owner can feel it too it was revealed that the 13 month series with combined together would form half of the key of the tower that will unlock the door to the 135 floor the day jihad closed the door and announced that he would stop climbing the tower he split the key into two parts he gave the first half of the key to the blacksmith ashul eduardo so he make the 13 month series According to Garam Jahad, the 13 month series were split up so that Jahad and his 12 companion could share this key. It means that the 13 month series was first intended to be shared by King Jahad himself to his 12 most trusted companion because Jahad wanted the 13 of them to help him to safeguard the key. But that never happened since his two companions, Arlene Grace, and and V declared war against him. It seems that then the idea of sharing the 13 month series was immediately cancelled by Jahad. Many years after the great war between Jahad against Arlene Grace and V ended, Ubaid Augustang proposed to Jahad to create the Jahad princesses system. This system will force the princesses to compete against each other and fight over the 13 month series and that whoever princess collect all the 13 months can become jihad wife but the reality was different it was later revealed by garam that jihad would use any necessary means to prevent any princess from gathering all the 13 months one of the necessary means that garam mentioned was about the intervention of the ghost of the 13 months the ghost of the 13 month is the soul of the woman who reside within the 13 month series. She is a woman who once failed the initial selection process to become a princess of Jihad. As a result, she resent the chosen princess. So she made a deal with the king to seep into the spirit of the 13 months. When a princess ignite two or more of the 13 month series at the same time, the ghost take over the princess body and has a complete control over it. Then the ghost cause the princess to go on a rampage for up to a week, after which the ghost lose position. Then Jahad will declare the princess is insane and execute her. There were over five princesses that were sacrificed using this method. 
Jihad used this despicable trick to prevent any princess from gathering all the 30 months. When a chosen princess accepts one of the series, she must abide by a set of rules. She may not give or even lend a 30 month series to another person, or she will be executed. A princess may own more than one weapon from the 30 month series. A princess can refuse weapon from the 30 month month series and finally we reach what i am sure most of you want to know the most a list of each weapon and its current owner first we have silver january which was given to anjahad second we have white february and it was taken by irisia and nijahad after she killed its original owner third we have black march and it was given to yuri jahad then she lent it to 25th palm then he lost it to anak jahad but then yuri jahad got it back and gave it to 25th palm Fourth, the hawk green April was given to Anak Jahad, then she gave it to her daughter Anak Jahad Jr., but it was taken by Yuri Jahad. Fifth, we have yellow May, which was given to Mashini Jahad. Sixth, the sword Luminous June, which was given to Alf Jahad. Seventh, Indigo July was given to Yoram Jahad, but her sister Garam Jahad killed her and took it from her. Eighth, we have Blue August, and it was given to Garam Jahad. Ninth, we have the Dark September, and it is the only weapon that is unknown who is the owner, or is even if it was given to a princess, or is it still with Jahad. Tenth, the second sword of the 13th month, Red October, and it was given to Ari Agfrion Jahad. I think that how M is pronounced. Eleventh, the strongest of the 13th month, the Golden November, and it was given to Adori Jahad. Twelfth, the colorless December, and it was sealed with its owner, Erisha Ani Jahad. Finally, we reach the last one and the only item that is not a weapon, the inventory, Rainbow and December. It is unique that it is the only one that has never been granted to a princess. Finally, we reached the end of the video and I thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed my video and if you want any type of video next, just ask in the comment and do not forget to like and subscribe and have a great evening.